Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Somic. In this video, we'll be showing you how to write to a unique file for every individual messages that we get from a queue in a real-time workflow. In general, in a real-time workflow, we see messages are read from a queue and written to a, another queue. But sometimes situation may come parallelly you want to write the, uh, the same data from each message to an individual flat file. So by the default mapping whatever we use we won't be able to achieve this. So for that we need to make some changes in the target flat file properties and the queue properties. Okay so now what we have to add we have to add a new column name file name in the target flat file properties. This uh, file name need to be passed by the developer so that in every run a unique file name is created so that's what we are gonna do in this uh, mapping so apart from that what uh, we'll need we'll need to set the commit type as source and commit interval to one so that for each and every messages it gets from the queue a new flat file is created now also apart from this we need to provide a definitive value to source idle time i will show you why the reason is in the demo now just uh, let me move to the demo part so if we just go to the target designer let us uh, open this flat file it's the flat file which will be creating created for each and every message we get from the queue so here is one property this add file name column to this column to this uh, flat file so for every run power center will use this value to create a new, new flat file so since we have created this new column uh, this is the mapping uh, which we'll use just uh, um, just ignore this all this transformation so I'll just concentrate only on the flat file okay so now um, if i just uh, look at the target flat file we need to pass a file name what any value we need to pass a unique value we need to pass every time so so this can be uh, achieved by anything like here i've used a sql trans uh, sorry a uh, sequence generator you can use a uh, uh, anything like a uh, expression transformation or a java transformation anything by any means you have to make sure that you are passing a unique value every time a new message is coming from the active input uh, any message key. so what I'll do I'll just take a uh, next val this value so next value will be a you know a, count, a kind of counter it will increment for every message so the first time is the value is 1 so next time it will be 2 so like that the file names will, will be getting created uh, we will verify this when we run this uh, mapping okay now just to move to the workflow Manager. Let me see it. Okay. Refresh mapping. Now in the config object. Sorry, in the properties, yeah. In the properties, we have to set this commit type as uh, source and commit interval to one. By default, it is I think set to ten thousand or one thousand value. So just make it to one, so that for every incoming message, a new file is getting created. Uh, the last thing that we need to check is this value. This is the value of the source uh, uh, queue. So so there are so many properties you can just uh, left the default properties except this one ideal time so this value is that uh, uh, just to indicate power center till what time it should run uh, even if it don't get any message from the source queue so by default if i set it to minus one it will wait for indefinite time so like even if you are it's not getting any message from the source queue it will be still running so so here we don't want to keep this so we want to change it to whatever value according to you need i'm making it to 20 so 
after 20 seconds since it has stopped receiving message from the source queue it will stop running now the reason why we have to set this value i'll show you now so let me drop some messages in the source queue Just dropping four files. The queues will pick the files from this directory. Let me run the session. So the files have been picked up. Okay, we just started creating the flat file. From the target directory, we can see files are getting generated. So these are the files 26, 27, 28. The 29th file is empty because the power center hasn't dropped the file into that location. Now, th this is basically the reason why we have changed that ideal time to to a definite value. So if we, if we have kept it to minus one, which is the default value, it would have kept running. So the last message which we have received from the queue, it won't get written into the flat file until it gets the next message or the session is stopped okay so to make sure that we receive each and every single message within the time frame we are providing this uh, a fixed or definitive value you can keep any value according to your requirement okay so this was basically uh, just a small uh, demo how to implement that okay So, uh, we would love to hear from you about your feedbacks. You can drop us a mail at uh, supportvideos at informatica.com. You can also follow us at twitter.com forward slash infrasupport. Thank you.